You know, women say it all the time. I don't have anything to wear. You're always saying that. I know, Dave, but it's I've true. I've it once or twice. But did you know that next great outfit could actually be lurking in the back of your closet? Lurking indeed. Our fashion expert shows us a total fashion makeover. It's coming up next. Fashionistas, Definitely. yeah. If you have a closet full of clothes, but never feel like you have anything to wear, you are not alone. So today we have some help from an expert. If you have about an hour to spare, you can give your closet a total fashion makeover. Here's the problem with this closet. We've got skirts in with shirts. We've got long sleeve and short sleeve colors of all sorts mixed in. We also have shoes on racks that weren't meant to hold shoes. So the heels are falling through. Uh, we've got them forward and sideways. Um, this is our accessories, and my goodness, you could never get to the bottom of this pile. Certified image consultant Kelly Mashbitz is giving this closet a total fashion makeover. She says by making a few simple changes, you can actually shop your closet instead of a store. Step number one, get rid of what you don't wear. You don't want anything in here that you can't wear immediately. If it doesn't flatter you, if it's not your style, if it's not your color, if you don't look great in it, get rid of it. Kelly says it's even okay to give away a gift. Donate it, consign it, just get it out of the closet. And for client Christy Kinman, this is the hardest part. It's very tough. You, you get used to having so much in your in your closet you think that if you have a lot of clothes to choose from then it's easier to get dressed but it's overwhelming to see all these go christy is 36 years old and needs to make a change this self-professed t-shirt and jeans kind of girl is going from casual wear to career she's written a book and needs a new look usually i just stand there with my hand on my hip and stare until something just comes to me and then i change about 10 times <laughs> Well, in just a matter of minutes, consultant Kelly can clear up that clothing confusion. So here's how you want to organize your closet. You're going to start with the smaller garments in front and work your way back. We have sleeveless, we have short sleeve, three-quarter sleeve, and then back to the long sleeve. That way you can see everything at a glance. Clothes are also organized from lighter to darker and all facing the same direction. Shoes are organized in clear plastic boxes and stacked on top. That leaves room for all those accessories that can now be neatly stored in the hanging organizer. The idea is if you can see what you have, you're more likely to wear what you have. It's a total fashion makeover for Christy and her closet. She's going from cute and casual to career woman suited for success. And you know, here's what I'm thinking, a lot yeah. of women have the same problem. They walk into their closet and they can feel completely overwhelmed. I don't know what I have. I can't see what I have. So you don't have that problem? I really don't spend that much time in your in closet. closet. <laughs> Go in there, get what I need and get out. I know it's different with, with women. It is. Okay, so, so just I'm... a few more tips from the expert day okay. for all of us gals out there. <laughs> your closet should look like you, right? So your tops hang up on top, your bottoms on the bottom. I know this sounds simple, but it does work. You're supposed to hang your pants, your skirts, things like button-down shirts and your jacks, jackets. And then you should actually fold your t-shirts, your sweaters, and other delicate fabrics. A lot of people, I think, actually hang up their sweaters. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to fold them. 